Hello and welcome to another edition of the Divine Mercy for America Holy Hour Novena for Our Nation. Very special edition today, December 8th, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. And uh, Joan and I are the Mother of Mercy Messengers and Apostolate for the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception, the first holy order to uh, take that name hundreds of years before the dogma was proclaimed and also the patroness of our United States of America, the Immaculate Conception. So very, very important today, uh, day to day. And I'll let Joan take it over for to introduce our guest. Well, as uh, most of you know, if you've joined us before, we will begin our holy hour praying for our nation the way St. Faustina was instructed by our Lord and by Our Lady to specifically pray for her native land. But before we do that, we are uh, blessed to welcome a relatively new Marian father. He was ordained last December. And has it uh, been that long? Yeah, almost a year now. Uh, He went to a a couple of Marian parishes just outside of Chicago, south of Chicago. And, um, but recently, uh, a few weeks ago, was named the new rector of the National Shrine of Divine Mercy. And what a great job. But I, I know that he's got the, uh, I just can feel it, um, going to be a great man for the job. And Father Matthew Tomini, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So we're going to uh, just have Dave say a quick Hail Mary today to give some honor to the Immaculate Conception. And then we're going to turn it over to you, Father, to share with us uh, once we go to the holy hour, Father will lead us in the holy rosary. A lot of times our guest speakers stay for the whole hour, but he's got to go to prayer with the community. So he'll stay with us through the rosary, and then he's going to have to take off at 25 after. So, Well, Father, I would like to uh, give the, uh, the the prayer to uh, the oh, yeah. Hail Mary uh, and ask if you would lead us in that, please. Yeah, Sure. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God pray, for, pray us. for us sinners now Amen. of our death. Amen. Amen. O Mary, concede without sin. Pray for, pray us, for us to have recourse, recourse to, to thee. thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Great Father, take it away. All right. Well, thank you for having me and happy uh, Immaculate Conception Day to everybody. Um, You know, today is a great day of joy as uh, Our Lady Mary, the Immaculate Conception, is the patroness of our country. She is the patroness of the United States. And today is also a special feast day uh, during this time of Advent, during this holy time of Advent. Um, it's the most solemn of all the feast days, and it is a day of joy because the conception of Mary tells us that the birth of Jesus is not far off, kind of like the soft and radiant light of the sun coming on the horizon. And so already, you know, the earth, the people, we possess a, a first pledge of the divine mercy uh, for the, the son of man, the Messiah, is now near at hand. And This feast day of the Immaculate Conception on December 8th, it is a day we celebrate the anniversary of her conception, you know, nine months before uh, her her birth, which we celebrate on September 8th. And it's also a day we honor the sublime privilege by which Mary was, was preserved from the original stain of sin, you know, inherited usually uh, from our first parents, Adam and Eve. And Our Lady, under this title, had a, um, the people of America, even before we were founded as a nation, had a special devotion to Mary under the title of the Immaculate Conception. Um, I think Father Chris, in one of his talks, uh, which I recommend, uh, in which he talks about Mary as the patroness of uh, the United States, he talks about how even the Mississippi River, Father Marquette had actually named the Immaculate Conception River. And uh, Bishop Carroll, when he was made the first bishop of the United States shortly after, about 15 years after our founding, uh, he dedicated the country, the first, the first diocese of Baltimore, which covered the whole country, to 
uh, Mary to bring that unity, that union to this new union of states. And the devotion, especially under the title of the Immaculate Conception, was so great uh, that the bishops of the United States, after multiple dioceses had grown, uh, in 1846 or 1847, um, the bishops unanimously dedicated uh, the United States to the Immaculate Conception. They made the Immaculate Conception the patroness of the United States. And that devotion was so strong that it was actually uh, considered part of the reason why Pope Pius IX uh, in 1854 declared um, the Immaculate Conception as dogma. And in his decree, Ineffabilis Deus Pius IX said, teaching solemnly, the most blessed Virgin Mary was from the first moment of her conception by a singular grace and privilege of Almighty God and by virtue of the merits of Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, preserved immune from all stain of, of original sin. So Christ, he says, is the Savior of Mary, as he is the Savior of all mankind. And the, the merits of Christ's redemption, though, was applied to Mary outside time. And, you know, you can think of it, there's two ways to be saved. Um, there's two ways for people to be saved. You could either pick them up from uh, the mud of sin and then clean them off as our Lord normally does with his blood and water of baptism. Uh, or you can catch them and then prevent them from falling. And both ways, you would still attribute that person saving you. And so Mary's savior from sin is still her son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And basically, you know, God, who is eternal, applied the merits of Christ's redemption outside time to Mary in order to save her by preserving her from all inherited and actual sin. And so Pius IX is basically stating something, you know, he's proclaiming this solemnly as dogma, but it's already been implied under her previous title as mother of God. Now, why would God grant Mary an immaculate conception? Why would he conceive, have Mary be conceived without sin? Why does she not inherit original sin? Well, to really understand her immaculate conception, it's important to consider Jesus's role in redemption as the new Adam. You know, salvation is not just about saving sinners from the fires of hell, but it's also about undoing the effects of the fall of Adam and Eve. And this is made possible by the power of God's grace to actually make humans righteous. So being made righteous, that is part of Christ's role in redemption as our savior and is part of his role as the new Adam. Because Christ is the new Adam, he redeems us by undoing Adam's disobedience. And then if there's a new Adam, well, who's the new Eve? Mary. Mary is the new Eve who shares in this act of redemption by loosening the knot of Eve's disobedience by her obedience. And there's a beautiful line that uh, references this undoing of the knot in the Ave Maria Stella, reversing that. Uh, uh, there's a play on um, Mary's Ave the, that Gabriel gave her, reverses the, the, the knot of Eve. And there's plenty of scriptural allusions, too, that support Mary as the new Eve. You know, uh, we can think of at the, the wedding at Cana, what happens there? Well, Mary invites Jesus to perform the first of his signs. And if you read the Gospel of John, uh, those chapters leading up to it, you know, especially even just the very beginning, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was made God, and the Word, and the 
uh, word was with God. John is having a heavy backdrop of Genesis and that the allusions to Genesis continue even into the scene at the wedding at Cana. And we see Mary inviting Jesus to do something good. Whereas the first Eve invited the first Adam to commit the first sin. You know, the new Eve, Mary, invites Jesus to perform the first of his signs, the first of his miracles, the beginning of his hour of mercy. And then just as there was a man, a woman, and a tree at our fall, there was a man, a woman, and a tree at our redemption, at our victory over sin and death. Colton Sheen has a nice uh, way of putting that uh, comparison, that parallel there, where the, the cross is the tree of life. And Mary is the new Eve there at, at the foot, at the feet of Jesus, who is the new Adam, undoing the sin of disobedience by being obedient unto death. And so Mary, she, she's a co-redeemer. She shares in the redemption of Christ and that victory over sin and death. She is that woman whose offspring conquers the devil, crushing the serpent's head as prophesied by Genesis 3.15. You know, how do we uh, hear the book of Genesis say Adam and Eve were created before they were conquered by sin? What we hear in scripture, Adam and Eve were created sinless. They were created in the state of original justice. They had uh, no concupiscence. Their uh, appetite and will and intellect were not disordered. They were all aligned, uh, ordered to God. And yet, with, without this concupiscence, they still managed to fall. They still managed to sin. They succumbed to sin. They were conquered. Yet, what was God's response? Mercy. Genesis 3.15 says, God uh, says, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. She shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. Now, there's different translations uh, which handle that differently. Some say, he shall bruise your head. Others say, she shall bruise your head. But either way, even granting, as some read this text, that you know it's the son of the woman that is alone to gain this victory, the enmity between the woman and the serpent is clearly expressed. And she, the woman with her own foot, is to crush the head of the hated serpent. You know, it's just as portrayed in so many images uh, of Mary, statues of Mary, her foot is crushing the head of the serpent. She is the second Eve, the new Eve, which does not succumb to the temptation of the serpent, but crushes it. And the second Eve, this new Eve, she is worthy of the second Adam, the new Adam conquering and not to be conquered if she is to be worthy that can only take place by her not having sin at all within her life you know and this this great prophecy from genesis 3, genesis 315 uh foretells you know that the the human race is one day to be avenged not only by God made man, but also by the woman miraculously exempted from every stain of sin. You know, everyone and everything in primeval cre creation, you know, in the beginning of time, everything was in justice and holiness, as we hear in Ephesians. This original justice and holiness will thus reappear in Mary, that woman, the new Eve just as though original sin had never been committed. 
Genesis 3.15 is a, a very important uh, basis for the Immaculate Conception because if there is to be complete enmity between the woman and the serpent, between Mary and the Satan, she must not have any sin at all. There is complete enmity, complete stainless of sin. And the source, the root and source of this enmity between Mary and Satan is her immaculate conception. This is God's greatest act of mercy. And this act of mercy was essential to Mary's role in redemption as the new Eve. You know, as the first Adam and the first Eve were created without sin, so the new Adam and the new Eve were created without sin. You know, the eternal father would not do less for the new Eve than he had done for the first, which was being created in the state of original justice. With Jesus, Mary crushes the serpent's head as prophesied by Genesis 3.15, completely conquering and not to be conquered. And the early Christians, the ancient church, was quick to recognize Mary as the new Eve because uh, there is a principle in scripture that the Old Testament prefigurements, the Old Testament types, are never greater than the New Testament fulfillments. You know, think of Adam. Uh, you know, he is a type of Jesus because St. Paul talks about Jesus being the new Adam. Well, we know Jesus is greater than Adam. Uh, same thing with David. David is a prefigurement of Christ, the king of Israel. Uh, yet David fell. Remember Bathsheba? You know, he fell. Uh, he was not perfect. So Jesus is greater than David. Well, it's the same thing with Mary as the new Eve. Mary. Uh, must be greater than Eve, not only not having original sin, uh, or not, 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 not only not having actual sin like Eve, but also by not having original sin. That is the only way she can be greater than Eve, is that she was completely without sin. And so she is created without sin and preserved from all sin. And so Mary is the supreme example of, of what God's grace can do in a mere human creature. She is the exemplar of the good news of salvation, undoing the effects of Adam and Eve and becoming a new creation in Christ. She helps us understand through God's grace and the resurrection, we too can be completely free from sin. You know, as Jesus says in, in Revelation, behold, I make all things new. And she received the fullness of grace in the blood and water poured out by the divine mercy hanging on the tree of life. Mary's fullness of grace is the greatest gift her son could give her, even before she was born or before he was born. The son of God would not permit that the woman from whom he was to take the nature of man should be deprived of that gift, which he had given even to her, who was the mother of sin. If you, you know, as Fulton Sheen says, if you could create your own mother, would you not make her as perfect as possible? And so the son of God also had that reason for he was to dwell within Mary. She, in her womb, she becomes the new Ark of the Covenant. She becomes the Ark of the New Covenant. And God saw from all eternity that it would be most fitting that the womb, which would contain the Word made flesh, should never be touched by the stain of sin at any time. Because again, think of the principle I said that Old Testament prefigurements are never greater than their New Testament fulfillment. The Ark of the Old Testament, the Ark of the Old Covenant, was made of incorruptible wood and overlaid with the, the purest gold. Well, the Ark of the New Testament, the Ark of the New Covenant, then must be greater 
and she, Mary, this new ark is overlaid with complete purity and preserved from all bodily corruption, which is due to original sin. Remember, death and corruption only came about from original sin. And this complete purity that Mary has is why Gabriel says, Hail, O full of grace. He is announcing to her that she is to be the Ark of the New Covenant. She is to be the Ark holding, bearing the, the Word made flesh. And he's so full of admiration at the sight of that purity that that is why he salutes her with this hail full of grace. And remember, I mean, he, his beginning was so glorious. His progress is so uh, immeasurable in sanctity. And yet this blessed spirit should bow down profoundly before this young maid of Nazareth and salute her with hail O full of grace. And not just full of grace, but the fullness of grace. That fullness of grace, which had been given to the angels only in limit. And this fullness of grace was in Mary from the first instant of her existence. She is the future mother of God. And she was ever holy, ever pure, and ever immaculate. And how did she become the mother of God? Who was the spouse she was so united to that she conceived the son of God? Well, what did Gabriel announce? He said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So Mary's spouse is the Holy Spirit. Mary is the spouse of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, who was to overshadow Mary and produce Jesus within her by his divine operation, he too would not permit that foul stain in which we are all conceived to rest, even for an instant, on this his spouse. And this is why, you know, St. Maximilian Kolbe talks about how just as you know we humans take on the the name of our spouse so too did mary mary said to bernadette in 1858 i am the immaculate conception i am the immaculate conception well that stumbled that kind of uh, baffled maximilian kobe then he realized it's because you know that she's saying that's her name just like we would say, I am so-and-so. And she takes on the name of her spouse, the Holy Spirit, who is the uncreated Immaculate Conception. Uh, Father Chris this morning was explaining in his homily, the Father is the lover. Let's get, this is from uh, St. Augustine. The Father is the lover. The Son is the beloved. And the Holy Spirit is the love processing from the two. The Holy Spirit is that third person which comes forth from the union of the Father and the Son. He is the eternal, uncreated Immaculate Conception. And Mary's uh, full, complete interior union to the Holy Spirit is why it's so important to consecrate ourselves to Mary. She teaches us to be servants and handmaids of the Lord, perfectly conformed to God's will, to be all pure and holy under the inspirations of the Holy Spirit. And that's why it's so important to, to consecrate ourselves to Mary Immaculate, to be fit instruments in her Immaculate and merciful hands, building the kingdom of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, especially here in our country, United States. And so during this time of Advent, uh, we can prepare to receive this same Jesus, which came to dwell in Mary by pronouncing to the best of our ability, every sin and every attachment to sin, we can turn to our dear mother of that Jesus who, who chose her for his dwelling, that he might afterwards find a dwelling place in each of us, in each of our hearts. And so today as Americans, we entrust our country to, to be preserved. Uh, we entrust our country to the Immaculate Conception, to be preserved from all evil and corruption and all sin. And uh, we can renew 
our consecration to Mary and continually turn to her that we may be preserved from all sin, from all uh, you know, evil temptation. And that way we may be pure and holy for the Lord says, blessed are the pure of heart for they shall see God. Today is a, a great day in which we rejoice in the strongest pledge of God's divine mercy. And we delight in Mary's immaculate conception as we delight in a lily blooming amidst thorns. And just as the mother's glory is, and we celebrate this day as a great day of joy because our mother's glory is the glory of her children. May the Immaculate Conceptions of the Virgin Mary be our salvation and our protection. O oh, Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us pray. who have recourse to thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Excellent, beautiful, Father. Father. Yes. Beautiful teaching, beautiful reflection. Thank you so much. And that, I think, yeah. really prepares us well for this, this time of prayer for our nation and our nations <clears throat> and imploring. We, we begin it with, uh, we'll make a spiritual communion prayer, but then uh, turn to her reciting her her Holy Rosary, the Holy Rosary that she has asked us to pray every day. Um, and so out of obedience to that and with joy, with love, we, we will offer it and seek her intercession. So let's, we will zoom over now to Vilnius. We prepare our hearts to be in the presence of Jesus, you know, virtually over this uh, live feed from Vilnius. Uh, but as you know, Jesus is not bound by space or time. So we give our hearts to him and let's go to the chapel. And the feed will load in. There it goes. So we are live there in Vilnius. Father, do you want to lead us in this spiritual communion prayer? Sure. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Okay, so now Father will lead us in the Holy Rosary, and we have uh, prayer group members who will be responding. Father will do the first half of the prayers, and I announced earlier that he will have to take off um, right at the end, or maybe even right before the end, to join the rest of the Marian community there at the National Shrine uh, for their evening prayers, Vespers. So, okay, Father, we'll go ahead and get started on the rosary. All right. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, from where he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit the, Holy the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the, the communion, communion of saints, the, the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, the, the resurrection of the body, and, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day, day our daily, daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour, hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour, hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Luminous Mysteries. The first Luminous Mystery is the Baptism of Jesus at the River Jordan. We can ask our Lord for the grace of that complete purity that we had at our baptism, that through Mary's Immaculate Conception, we too may be perfect temple, temples of God, and that we may remain pure and holy temples of God, that God may dwell within us all the days of our life. Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Donna, Father, we'll go ahead and lead. Okay. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Bring us to the... Lead us... Save, oh my, us save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. 
the second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. His mother said to the servers, do whatever he tells you. May we have that complete openness like Mary to inspirations of the Holy Spirit that we may receive fully what the Lord wants to give us. May we have a spirit of surrender that the jar of our heart is completely empty and presented to the Lord that he may fill them and transform them into all the graces he wishes to bestow on us. Fruit of the mystery to Jesus through Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Forgive, Forgive us, us our, our, our sins. sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. May we proclaim Christ's mercy, especially by honoring the Immaculate Conception sharing with others the great act of the Lord's mercy, the fullness of his mercy bestowed on any creature, exemplified in Mary, the Immaculate Conception. May she protect us as we build and be instruments of the Lord in building the kingdom of heaven on earth. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery. Transfiguration of Christ. As we meditate upon the glory and purity of Christ as transfigured on that mountain, may we behold with the same admiration as Gabriel the purity of Mary, that dazzling white that she is robed in. And may we desire that same purity that our Lord and our Lady have. Fruit of the mystery, desire for purity and holiness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Father, uh, we know that you have, you know, your uh, community prayer, and I think we've gone over time that you said you needed to leave. It's very gracious of you to, to stick around, but... Uh, if you'd like to bow out, uh, we can do the last decade. I'll I'll uh, I'll stay for the last decade, but I'll leave right after that. Okay, great, thank great. you, Father. Super. God bless yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Our love to everyone. Thank you. Thank you for having me. The fifth luminous mystery: the institution of the Eucharist. As we meditate upon the Lord's institution of the Eucharist and his desire to be in communion with us, to dwell in our hearts. May we prepare our hearts to be a dwelling place of the Lord, a physical dwelling place, as he was in the womb of Mary. May his physical presence be fully in our hearts in Holy Communion. And may we receive the same grace of purity that the Immaculate Conception received in preparing for Holy Communion. The fruit of the mystery, adoration, and a Holy Communion. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant we beseech thee, that while meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, that we may, that we may obtain. Imitate what they contain. Imitate what they obtain. Contain. Imitate what they obtain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. For the intentions of our Holy Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and, and ever shall be, world without, without end. end. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. 
Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. All you holy angels and saints, pray for, pray us. for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Would you do the Saint Joseph prayer? Saint Joseph prayer, yes. Then put it up. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Okay, Diana. To you, O oh blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus, I'm sorry, Jesus, stop it. All right, so I think she had uh, an interruption there, which Jesus Christ has yes. purchased. Go ahead. By his blood. You do it. I, his okay. Dog's okay. <laughs> no problem. And with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities, O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Now the Litany of the Saints. Today is the Feast of St. Mary, the Immaculate Conception. So we pray for our country and countries all over the world in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dottie will be responding. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. St. Michael. Pray for us. Saint Gabriel. Pray for us. Saint Raphael. Pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels. Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets. Pray for us. Saint Peter. Pray for us. Saint Paul. Pray for us. Saint Andrew. Pray for us. St. James. Pray for us. St. John. Pray for us. St. Thomas. Pray for us. St. James. Pray for us. St. Philip. Pray for us. St. Bartholomew. Pray for us. St. Matthew. Pray for us. St. Simon. Pray for us. St. Jude. Pray for us. St. Matthias. Pray for us. St. Barnabas. Pray for us. St. Luke. Pray for us. St. Mark. Pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists. Pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord. Pray for us. All you holy innocents. Pray for us. St. Stephen. Pray for us. St. Lawrence. Pray for us. St. Vincent. Pray for us. St. Fabian and Sebastian. Pray for us. Saints John and Paul. Pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damien. Pray for us. All you holy martyrs. Pray for us. Saint Sylvester. 
Pray for us. Saint Gregory. Pray for us. Saint Ambrose. Pray for us. Saint Augustine. Pray for us. Saint Jerome. Pray for us. Saint Martin. Pray for us. Saint Nicholas. Pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors. Pray for us. All you holy doctors. Pray for us. Saint Anthony. Pray for us. Saint Benedict. Pray for us. Saint Bernard. Pray for us. Saint Dominic. Pray for us. Saint Francis. Pray for us. Saint Pio. Pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites. Pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits. Pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Saint Agatha. Pray for us. Saint Lucy. Pray for us. Saint Agnes. Pray for us. Saint Cecilia. Pray for us. Saint Anastasia. Pray for us. Saint Catherine. Pray for us. Saint Claire. Pray for us. Saint Elizabeth. Pray for us. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows. Pray for us. All you holy saints of God. Pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil. Lord, save your people. From all sin. Lord, save your people. From your wrath. Lord, save your people. From a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people. From the snares of the devil. Lord, save your people. From anger, hatred, and all ill will. Lord, save your people. From the spirit of uncleanness. Lord, save your people. From lightning and tempest. Lord, save your people. From the scourge of earthquake. Lord, save your people. From plague, famine, and war. Lord, save your people. From everlasting death. Lord, save your people. By the mystery of your holy incarnation. Lord, save your people. By your coming. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and holy fasting. Lord, save your people. By your cross and passion. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your holy resurrection. Lord, save your people. By your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people. By the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. On the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear your prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the church all those who are straying and bring all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. 
Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today bring to me the souls who are detained in purgatory and immerse them in the abyss of my mercy. Most merciful Jesus, you yourself have said that you desire mercy. So I bring into the abode of your most compassionate heart, the souls in purgatory, those souls who are very dear to you and yet who must make retribution to your justice. May the streams of blood and water which gushed forth from your heart put out the flames of purgatory, that there, too, the power of your mercy may be celebrated. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the souls suffering in purgatory who are enfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. I beg you, by the sorrowful passion of Jesus, your Son, and by all the bitterness with which his sacred soul was flooded. Manifest your mercy to the souls who are under your just scrutiny. Look upon them in no other way, but only through the wounds of Jesus, your dearly beloved son. For we firmly believe that there is no limit to your goodness and compassion. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world, O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy. Envelop the whole world, and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth in the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God. Holy God. Go ahead, Gina. <laughs> holy God, holy mighty one, holy Morton one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Then there's an optional closing prayer. Eternal God, in, in whom mercy is endless, and, endless, and the, the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, Jesus I, I trust, trust in, in you. you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Immaculate Mother, Queen of our country, open our hearts, our homes, and our land to the coming of Jesus, your divine Son, with him reign over us, O heavenly lady, so pure and so bright with the radiance of God's light shining in and about you. Be our leader against the powers of evil set upon wrestling the world of souls redeemed at such a great cost by the sufferings of your son and of yourself in union with him from that same savior who loves us with infinite charity. We gather about you, O chaste and holy mother, virgin immaculate, patroness of beloved land, our beloved land, determined to fight under your banner of holy purity against the wickedness that would make all the world an abyss of evil without God and without your loving maternal care. We consecrate our hearts, our homes, our land to your most pure heart, O oh, great queen, that the kingdom of your son, our redeemer and our God may be firmly established in us. We ask no special sign of you, sweet mother, for we believe in your great love for us and we place in your, our entire confidence. We promise to honor you by faith, love, and the purity of our lives according to your desire. Reign over us then, O Virgin Immaculate, with your son, Jesus Christ. May his divine heart and your most chaste heart be ever enthroned and glorified among us. Use us, your children of America, as your instruments in bringing peace among men and nations. Work your miracles of grace in us so that we may be a glory to the blessed Trinity who created, redeemed, and sanctifies us. May your valiant spouse, Saint Joseph, with the holy angels and saints, assist you and us in renewing the face of the earth. Then when our work is over, come, holy immaculate mother, and as our victorious queen, lead us to the eternal kingdom where your son reigns forever as king. Amen.
Amen. Thank Amen. you. Please. And so now. Can I say the prayer to St. Gertrude now? Okay, yes. sure. Yes. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the mass that said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those within my own home and within my family and within me. Amen. And just wanted to let you know I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Okay, Doc. Okay, we'll Doc. miss you. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, so today, Marie Claire, we have a new singer who will be singing the Tonto Marigo for us. Tonto Marigo Sacramento, no voce da ricciuti, resta il fide supplemento, senso di fettui, genitori, genitori, Salus virtus si si Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God bless us all. I love you, Lord. Just got to say, beautiful family, you know, you. What a special grace to be able to pray with you all get to know you you know through this technology here and if you're new here we invite you back you know and tell your friends especially you know if you know someone that uh you think would uh, enjoy this prayer time together maybe a shut in someone who can't get out or uh your prayer warrior you know uh let them know and uh but you know it's just really 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 something to have this time together with with uh, with you all time and time again so we'll open it up to everybody wasn't father matt um incredible great young priest pray for him uh all all the marian fathers and all of our priests uh, and for vocations so does anybody have any questions or special comments i'm gonna keep, keep it a little short today no mary how are we going to pray and what are we praying for now that that law has been signed and ratified? Good point. Um, yes, as you probably know, we prayed really, really hard that that law would not be satisfied, that the respect for so-called um, respect for marriage. We're going to follow up with that. Um, you know, there's a couple of different things that could happen. Um, one I heard is that it's possible that... Um, when it goes to the new Congress, they they won't pass the funds to enforce the law. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Mr. McCarthy uh, ha has been a congressional lawyer, and so we're he's going to look into it. And I think the other thing is we have to just continue to pray for God's mercy. You know, that makes it even more important that we pray. We pray for the conversion of sinners. Um, we pray that maybe the bishops will have the solemn procession of Our Lady of America into our National Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. Those of you know, following the promises of Our Lady of America, that we would be granted great graces and 
uh, gifts of purity. So uh, it, when we prayed the uh, prayer today, um, during the hour of grace, you know, we're really studying it. When Our Lady came in 1947, we were saying this before the holy hour, she came to say that um, the sins of impurity, uh, you know, that the Lord was fed up. And of course he is, because as a father, I mean, you can imagine looking down on your children. And, and there are a lot of children that suffer from this. A, a lot of people, you know, there's grown adults that are doing things in moral acts and everything. But a, a lot of this is perpetuated on, on innocent children. And we don't want this to continue, you know, and if we don't, he doesn't. And so in, in um, what the Rosa Mystica told Sister Purina is that the Lord was ready to send the deluge. Now, this isn't the first time we've heard it, right? Because of Fatima, they said the cup is already overflowing. The Lord is so much offended. So I think, Michael, we just keep doing our part, what Our Lady in Heaven has told us to do. Continue to make acts of reparation, um, to do penance, penance, penance. And uh, Sister Pierina, that's what Sister, uh, uh, what Our Lady had told Sister Pierina. And the number one thing was to make acts of, of penance and atonement. And then she says, well, how? And she said, and I will give you this hour of great grace. And that's when she said, pray, you know, the Psalm 51 with your arms outstretched. I mean, this is something we can do every day, um, whenever we want. Any little act that we do out of love and discipline and obedience to the church is an act of penance. So I, I think we just need to keep praying that God's holy will be done. That's my take on it. I welcome anybody else's comments. Like, so I have to have anything to add to that. But we will uh, come back with um, more information. We might do uh, with Mr. McCarthy next week. I said, let's take the weekend. Let's sort through everything that's gone on, what's happened, and kind of get our story straight. And we will definitely, at least by our January, kicking off the new year, um, have some some more information about that. Today, I went to Villainous. How do you Villainous? Where were we Vilnius. just meet this? Villainous. <laughs> Well, I went there at 12 <laughs> o'clock and they were saying the rosary. Oh, and I said the whole rosary in front of the blessed sacrament with them. I knew where, where they were because they would say, I, you hear Maria or Amen. So I was so blessed. I said the whole rosary with them. And then father comes out and he blesses us with our Lord. What a blessing that was. Oh, I have chills. I had to share that because I have that in my mem memos and I go right to my memos. Boom. I'm there. I put on my seatbelt, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Louise. I love it. Oh, I have chills. That means it's true. And, and we did hear from uh, Mr. McCarthy, spiritual director, all this was pushed by him. And he said, you know, even if it, if it gets ratified, the point is, is we have really um, made heaven very, very happy with any, any act that we did, right? Uh, just our love and our response and our acts of, of uh, prayer and sacrifice that um, is not going to be wasted. You know, that, that he said, you will have eternal happiness because of what you did. So again, we just do our part and we leave it all in God's hands. His ways are not our ways, right? One more thing happened. So after it was after one, and I just felt so great. And he walks in my Eucharistic minister with our Lord. Oh, <laughs> Lord, I did my part. Wow, that's so beautiful. Great. Yeah, I had a great day. Awesome. Is, is there any way to get the copy of what the uh, the bill that was passed, exactly what's in it? I'm sure there is. That's a good question. Um, we'll find out, Effie. I'll, I'll try to have an answer. I'm sure there is, you know, to find out to tomorrow. And then also kind of more, I think, I did it uh, with Mr. McCarthy for Fast Friday last week. Like, what does this mean? You know, 
exactly. So I think we will follow up. We said we do have a need, so we do need to know um, what is entails. And, and I encourage, you know, as, as follow up, I encourage you to, uh, to go to, uh, uh, you can go to house.gov or, or just Google, you know, uh, state, uh, representative or, or U S representative and be sure to find out who it is in your area and how they voted, uh, just to get, you know, start to get involved in, in the process that, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's our fault, us, you know, the public, general public, or the, uh, you know, especially the faithful Catholics that 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 aren't involved. You know, I'm not pointing fingers. I'm saying myself too. But, you know, uh, so we have Chip Roy is our uh, representative, and he's he's pretty solid, uh, you know, and he voted against it. But it's good it's good to know how uh, your representative did in your area, and to give him feedback both ways. Uh, you yeah. know, because uh, Jeannie said the other day, she she was on, on with us yesterday, she's one of our board members, you know, that we send these people to, you know, to, to Washington, and they're out there, you know, everybody likes to get feedback, right, and a pat on the back to encourage them that thank you, thank you for standing up for life, thank you for against, being against this bill, it's, a, it's an act of charity, and, and of mercy, so we need to respond to them. Um, give them a pat on the back when they've done something right. And if they've done something that's not wrong, let them know how you feel Cite it. you know, tell them you're going to pray for them and, and why it's wrong so that we can, um, we have to admonish the sinner, you know, and, 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 and educate too. So to, to voice, because they're human beings, you know, and they get people saying that I don't like what you did, or it was really wrong. You know, heaven's working with them. And so we need to be that mouthpiece as well. And if you, I put the links to Vilnius, uh, to the uh, chapel, the, the live feed in the chat. Uh, so, you know, you can copy it out of there. If you're not familiar, you can look, uh, if you're on a computer, it's down at the bottom, click on the chat symbol there, you know, and it says the word chat and you can copy that for the, for the chapel. Want to congratulate Canada today, did the uh, coronation of Our Lady of the Cape. That is a very big deal. Canonically crowned. Canonically crowned, their patroness. Uh, so the Marian devotional movement did that. So that's good news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Dennis and Angelina. Mm -hmm. Gerard, what a wonderful couple. They had the, the bishop there too. It was by... Um, nothing is by coincidence, but I mean, Father de Sousa and, and uh, the, the bishop were there from Three Rivers, so they, La Liberté, they weren't expecting him, but it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ceremony. Awesome. So tomorrow is the feast day of St. Juan Diego, the humble little man. Guadalupe. Who, yeah, and who Our Lady of Guadalupe appeared to. And then finally, it was on the 13th, I believe, when she gave him the, the tilma, but she appeared on the 9th, the 12th, and the 13th. But so tomorrow, please tune in. We're going to be sharing a beautiful little video uh, that does a really, really good job. We're very, very familiar with- We've uh, been there, because yeah. Basilica in Mexico City. And, and with the history- and a Years lot, ago. A lot with Our Lady of Guadalupe, but it was good to watch this little film that um, pointed out some things we didn't know. And shows the correlation between what was happening in Mexico. A lot of people are not aware of that the culture of death, but the conversions. And so I really believe it's for the country of Mexico. It was right. the Aztec nation at the time. We're living in pagan times now, as we all know, but we have not been abandoned by Our Lady. And so I, I think that this will be a, a really interesting. Um, program and then also a, a sign of hope and then we want to continue to honor our lady under all her titles and you know i mentioned we i traveled through mexico you know earlier in in my life and i, I look back on it now and we'd be traveling along we'd pull into a, a little town and there'd be, you know the and in mexico on the town square you know we have the courthouse is typical mm -hmm. in the united states is is in the, the town Sonic. is in the square you know in mexico is the church is really the main building on the square and there's all you know every weekend there's ice cream carts and kids running <laughs> around it's a really it's a wonderful and i and i was thinking you know later on as i learned about our lady of guadalupe and her role and i think how did how did this you know land that was so demonic 
uh, it's, you know, human sacrifice just, you know, daily. How did, how did it change to such a peaceful, it's a wonderful country. The people are just beautiful. And how did it change? Our Lady of Guadalupe, you know, the mother of Jesus did it. So and she will do it again because it is in scripture. As father said, I'll open enmity between you. And uh, we're just living through it to do our part to bring down heaven's grace, be living reflections of his love and mercy. Anecdotally, when you speak about children, sorry to cut in, Joan, I I have to share this story. When we speak of Marlita Guadalupe, uh, I was at a client's house and um, she had a picture. She was from Mexico, had a picture on the wall. And I said, oh, Our Lady, the little one who could not have been any more than six or seven starts and gives me the whole entire story without skipping a beat of Juan Diego and Our Lady of Guadalupe. It was uh, in her little voice. Yes, and she appeared to him and I was I was just <laughs> in awe, in awe of this little girl. It was just amazing. She didn't miss any part of it at all. That's great. Uh, That's great, beautiful. And she is the patroness of the Americas. The Americas, it's plural. The exact yeah. midpoint. So we continue to, to implore Our Lady during this beautiful Advent season and um, put all of our trust. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. We got to run. Jesus, I trust. Beautiful in family. You. Good night, everybody. Love See you, you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Take good care.